Turkey has been exploring the option of adopting the famous Hellfire family of laser-guided missiles as part of its military strategy. The Hellfire has become one of the world's most reliable missiles, used in numerous conflicts to destroy targets ranging from armored vehicles to military infrastructure. The Hellfire missile family, which has become an integral part of the military arsenal and has demonstrated excellent performance in field and operational tests. The missile is known for its high accuracy and ability to engage targets with high precision, especially when guided by a laser system. Turkey's decision to explore adopting Hellfire as a key component in their defense strategy may have been driven by several factors. One of them is the increasing need for precision strike capabilities to face increasingly complex threats in the region. In dealing with threats such as armored vehicles, military bases, and other important targets, having reliable missiles with laser guidance capabilities could be an invaluable asset for Turkey. In addition, the adoption of the Hellfire missile could also intensify the defense partnership between Turkey and the United States, cooperation in the development and use of weapons systems such as the Hellfire. This adoption could strengthen military ties between the two countries while providing Turkey with access to the latest technology and expertise in the field of defense. One of the main benefits of adopting the Hellfire missile is the transfer of technology and expertise that comes with the integration of Turkey's air defense system with the United States military system. This collaboration not only strengthens military ties between the two countries, but also allows Turkey to gain a better understanding of modern combat tactics and strategies. Additionally, adoption of the Hellfire missile could improve interoperability between Turkish and United States forces, allowing the two to work together more effectively on joint military missions. This is important considering Turkey's role as a NATO member and its involvement in military operations in areas that are vulnerable to threats of regional disruption and conflict. In taking steps to adopt weapons systems from other countries, Turkey may need to consider the diplomatic implications for other countries, one of which is the impact of regional politics especially in the context of complex dynamics in the Middle East. This move could trigger negative reactions from some regional actors who may feel threatened by Turkey's increasing military capabilities. There are also concerns regarding misuse of the technology or potential misuse in Turkey's internal conflicts. Therefore, it is important for Turkey and the United States to ensure that the use of Hellfire missiles is carried out responsibly and in accordance with applicable regulatory principles. In facing this dilemma, it is important for Turkey and the United States to maintain a balance between national security and their international obligations. This involves ensuring that the use of Hellfire missiles is carried out with a high degree of responsibility, including in terms of proper target identification and minimizing risks to civilians. In facing the complex challenges of using Hellfire missiles, Turkey and the United States must work together to ensure that this use is carried out responsibly and in accordance with applicable regulatory principles. This is not only important to maintain regional stability and national security, but also to maintain the moral and legal integrity of both countries on the international stage. Thus, 
Cooperation in managing the use of Hellfire missiles is key in achieving sustainable joint goals. Turkey's adoption of the Hellfire missile represents an important step in strengthening military ties between Ankara and Washington while providing Turkey with access to the latest technology and expertise in the field of defense. However, existing challenges and considerations indicate the need for a careful approach in implementing this collaboration, taking into account political, security, and humanitarian factors.